Only on six tonight, intense video from an officer's perspective as they rescue an injured man from a burning car as it explodes all around them twice. Only News 6 got a hold of the body camera footage. We first told you about this daring rescue back in February when the car crashed and caught fire at the end of a Titusville street. And new tonight, we got all three officers back together to show us what they saw and tell us how and why they did it. News 6's Eric Von Inken is just back from Titusville with this special Getting Crime Results segment. Eric, that video is incredible. It, it really is. And, and, you know, guys, some people are going to watch this and say, well, they were just doing their jobs. And the officers, as you're about to hear, will also tell you that this is all part of the the job. This is protecting and serving, they say. But you can tell from this video that this is bravery that went above and beyond the call of duty to get results. In fact, they got a life saving award for this. They could have been blinded, maimed, or killed, and they came pretty close to it. Yep, where you at? Recorded on a camera on his chest, this is what Officer James Gibbs was seeing that night in February when he ran towards a burning car seconds before it did this. Oh. Oh. No, we need to go. We need to go. While we were standing there pretty close to the car, um, I heard a hissing noise and then the car exploded. Jennings and two other Titusville officers. I would have been right about here uh, pulling the guy out. Sergeant T.J. Wright. You could feel the flames. I mean, it was, it was hot. And Officer James Gibbs together saved the man who just smashed into a concrete barrier on Dead End River Edge Drive. Hey man, was it just you in that, in that truck? Yeah. Okay. Badly burned, he was only able to crawl out of the car, but not far enough from it. We got you, bud. In this never before seen body camera video, you can hear the screams that still haunt Officer Gibbs. Yeah, that's the hard part for us. You know, we have to deal with a lot of things. And as we're pulling him in, you could hear him screaming in pain. Um, and we just knew that. We got to get him out of here. You know, something else could happen. Something else did happen. Watch again in slow motion. The car explodes a second time, just a few feet from the officers as they're running to safety, carrying the man. What did you think when that explosion went off right next to you? Did a quick self check and made sure that I had all my parts. And then I said, well, we need to get out of here before another explosion happens. I would do this in a heartbeat again if this happened right now while we're filming this. But you didn't have to do that. Correct. It's the protect part. And we serve this gentleman by getting him away from the vehicle. That's exactly what it means. And because they did, that man is going to be okay. All three of those officers told me they knew this was dangerous, but they also knew they had to help. They said there was no time to stop and think about it. The officer wearing that body camera on his vest, Mark Jennings, said that when he got home, the first thing his wife told him was, you smell like smoke. <laughs> then, guys, she said, she followed it up with, she's very glad right? he's home yes. safe. Yes. He's Part probably like, job. you have no yeah. idea. Right. <laughs> Eric, I have to ask, what was up with that guy? Why did he crash into the barrier in the first place? Police I think he just got kind of lost. He told them that he thought he was still on US-1. It was late at night. He was from out of town. He says he didn't realize mm. he was on a side street until the barrier was right in front of him. And he says he came up on it at a high speed. Couldn't stop. Wow. Glad those officers video. were there. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Good thing. Thank you, Eric. Sure.